Imagine juggling a ball for five hours straight. Lose focus for only a second and you mess up. It is so difficult that a professional soccer player said that after two hours, you see the floor like a roller coaster. There's one ball, but you see there's three balls. The world record is a mind-blowing 25,000 in a row, and I'm gonna beat that. That is, if I don't get too dizzy. A few weeks ago, I crushed my old record and juggled for an hour, but it was exhausting. Like, I literally feel like I'm spinning. To beat the world record, I have to do that five times in a row. First try, here we go. All was good for the first 18 minutes until I realized my shoe came untied. Nine minutes later, I stepped on my shoelace with my left foot, so when I tried to kick my right foot, the shoelace got caught and messed me up. I cannot believe that. Next time I'm tying my shoes better. Second try, here we go. I triple knotted my shoes. Shouldn't be a problem. As you will see in a little bit, this is a perfect example of why you should never speak too soon. Oh boy. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. I'm not messed up. Oh boy. I went for another 28 minutes when I realized my shoe is coming untied again. Now I face two options. I can either keep going and risk stepping on my shoelace like last time, or I can start over. But trust me, juggling for 30 minutes is incredibly challenging. So much so that simply blinking can mess me up. I will go minutes without blinking, which causes my eyes to water and burn. So I decided to keep going. This is I seriously had oh, no idea how man. flexible I was until I watched this back. Like, check that out. And yeah, this is the face you make when you think you're about to mess up after 30 straight minutes. I started juggling for fun when I was nine years old before I knew anything about YouTube. I didn't do it for views or likes, but because I had a lot of fun. But when I first learned about YouTube, I totally thought my skills were gonna make me viral. This is 13 year old me. Hi everybody. And this is the first YouTube video we ever posted. Somehow even this amazing title didn't help my video go viral. It's a good thing you can't see the number of dislikes anymore. So this world record is actually over 10 years in the making. Around the one hour mark, I started to feel a lot of pain in my shoulders and knees. My knee. And to make matters worse, oh this boy. happened. I've got both shoes untied. Despite this, I continued to push forward and had now passed my all-time record. I could really use some water right now, but I don't want to go over that ladder and get it. I kept going for another 45 minutes, and you don't understand how exhausting that is. At this point, I was super thirsty, so I started waving my arms, hoping my brother would see me from inside our house and hand me the water bottle. This probably looks so foolish. But it turned out nobody was even home, so I was just waving my arms at nothing. If I keep doing that much longer, I'm gonna mess up. Matthew finally came home 30 minutes later. Dude, I don't trust myself to do this. Wait, oh, oh gosh. You <laughs> Two and a half hours. All down the drain. I started day two by taking off my shoelaces and then juggled for 40 minutes straight. Here I look super calm, but I'm actually paranoid that I forgot to press play on the camera. When we make trick shots, a ton of people comment saying, what if they forgot to press record? And I could not stop thinking about these comments. So I looked up to check if the camera was filming for only a fraction of a second, and that was enough to mess me up. This goes to show how difficult this record is because I never take my eyes off the ball at any point during the five hours unless I'm blinking. Next turn, I messed up after only a minute and I started questioning whether or not this was even possible. 25,000, can I do it? At this point, my right foot hurt every single time I kicked the ball and my shoulders were sore, so I had to stretch them periodically. Please like and subscribe because this is incredibly exhausting. I just want to let you guys know, I considered myself a good soccer juggler and the most I could go was five minutes. I went for over two hours when it started to get dark. Matthew helped set up lights, but that created a bunch of new problems. First, if I faced forward, the light would shine into my eyes. Secondly, the light shone on only the front half of the ball, so it looked like I was juggling half of a soccer ball. Finally, if I faced sideways, I could see my shadow, which was super distracting because I needed to stay so focused. I had been going for over two hours, but it felt like way longer to me. My legs, back, feet, and shoulders were hurting constantly. But the key is to just stay positive and believe that you can do it. I've been going for over three hours. I have to keep checking on him to make sure he's okay. How are you doing? Doing well. You might be wondering, why in the world would you just kick the ball so high like that? And I can assure you it was not on purpose. My left foot stepped on my right foot, so I had to kick way harder with my right foot to get it unstuck. I had to make that decision in a split second or else the ball would have hit the ground. This is seriously one of the craziest saves I've ever had. 
But ultimately, after three hours and 20 minutes of straight juggling, this happened. How are you feeling? I feel like totally exhausted. And guys, right. if he gets this, you guys have to subscribe. Look at what, what he's doing for you guys. I actually can't even like talk. I don't even know what to say. I just am so disappointed. <laughs> the next day started off pretty rough. My feet hurt every time I kicked the ball to the point where I was about to quit and never post the video. Also, the wind decided to pick up for me. Oh wow, wind. Chill, wind. I went for two hours when these birds landed in the tree next to me and wouldn't stop making noise. Those birds are trying to mess me up or something. While Tommy's going, I'm gonna try and see how many juggles I can get in a row. Oh boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's so been cool. three hours, 33 minutes. This is where the pressure started to get super intense. Even though my legs felt like they couldn't bend anymore, the most difficult part was knowing that I still had more than an hour ahead of me. 349. Do you think you can do it? I can't even know. I think this is gonna be my last try. If I don't get it, I don't know if I'm gonna go for it again. Imagine messing up right now. Oh boy. Oh. He still has like a full class period of school left. Only 43 minutes left. Only? Right here, I'm getting incredibly nervous, which disrupts my rhythm, and I start making some mistakes. Oh, 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 oh. Just gotta keep going. I will not let this fall. So he has like 19 more minutes. No matter how much I tried, I could not stop thinking about messing up. Really? I cannot believe that just happened. Tommy almost just lost. I'm under so much pressure right now. That was unbelievable. We're still going. Oh, ah. This is horrifying, guys. This is just so much pressure. Oh my. Oh. 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 Do you want me to leave? Yeah, I can't talk anymore. Seconds felt like hours, and one of the things that kept me going was telling myself that people would subscribe if I got it. Tommy's outside right now. He told me to come inside because he has to stay focused. He's got about 10 minutes left. All right, I think you have about five minutes. Four minutes, everybody. You got this, I'm Tommy. I'm almost there. Three minutes until it's been five hours. Please like and subscribe. Oh boy. With less than three minutes left, over 10 years of practice and a world record on the line, this happened. All right, you got this. You got two minutes. Two, one, five hours. Let's go. I messed up 20 minutes later because my brain was so tired that I forgot to kick my foot. I just messed up. Let's go. Let's go. World record holder. We did some more research to make sure this record was official and sadly found out that someone had already broken it in 2018. The reason we didn't find out sooner is because they titled the record, the longest time controlling a ball with your feet. We thought they were called keepy uppies, kick ups or juggles. So we never even found this record until after. Subscribe if you want me to break this record too.